There are a few plants in my yard that cause me trouble every year. Beyond the claims of lots of flowers in the summer, or the ability to handle the worst heat and drought without missing a beat, those plants turned out to have a dark side. Number one, Lily of the Valley. Of course, this is a well-known yard plant. Its fragrant, bell-shaped white flowers in early spring make it a favorite, and it does well in dry shade where not much else will grow. Lily of the Valley, on the other hand, makes me hate it because it starts to spread like crazy a year or two after growing it, killing nearby plants. Once it started, this active spreader can't be stopped without constant attention. Number two, perennial bachelor's button. For people who have never grown annual bachelor's button, a catalog description that talks about lots of spring and summer flowers and how easy it is to care for can be deceptive. But if you talk to someone who has grown this plant and had bad luck with it, they will tell you how much it seeds itself. It will grow in clumps every year. One year there will be one, and the next year there will be 15 in your yard. Number three, Chameleon plant. The Chameleon plant has heart-shaped leaves with splashes of white, green, pink, and yellow that make it look very pretty to people who have never seen it before. But that respect will quickly turn to disappointment as this tough perennial spreads all over the place. It grows quickly, even with herbicides on top of it, so don't be fooled by its pretty leaves if you see it at the garden shop. Number four, yellow alyssum. Yellow alyssum, which is also known as basket of gold, is a beautiful flower that blooms in early spring, just when we need color the most after a long, dull winter. But if you get close enough to smell the flowers, you might quickly move away. You might like this plant even if the stinky flowers make you feel bad. It's a neat, drought-resistant ground cover. Number five, fall sunflower. The way it acts in the yard is nothing like how real sunflowers act. False sunflower grows quickly from underground roots that connect to form big groups of plants. It will grow right over and through nearby shrubs and perennials, making it very hard to get rid of without hurting the plants it has taken over. Number six, purple loose strife. It's considered a noxious weed in many states because it takes over wetlands and makes room for less local plants and animals. Purple leucostrife is easy to spot because its flower spikes stand straight and bloom from midsummer to fall. A lot of places don't let you buy it, but people still put it in their gardens. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.